But if Queen Street West is just reaching its prime, it's also on a collision course. As Toronto's downtown core expands, the street has become a prime piece of real estate, a lure for big money and big development. Typical of what's happening in this area are these four stores. In just over a year, the value of this property has escalated by almost 400% to more than $1 million. The new owner, a Hong Kong businessman, will demolish the building this year. That means merchants like Paul Kelman will be forced out as this low-rent haven is destroyed. We can't find anything that's less than twice to three times what we're paying currently. Uh, and, uh, you know, really, we don't want to leave the area. I've been here more or less 10 years in and out. And uh, I love Queen Street. Sam Warner and Morris Winemaker love Queen Street too. They've been here for 42 years, owners of the famous Hollywood Jobbers, the only place in town where you can still buy 12 pairs of socks for $10. Sam and Morris are as much a part of Queen Street West as the funky punkers. They too are going to be evicted. We have customers who virtually break down when they hear we're going out. They scream where we're going to get our clothes. So that, that must make you feel sad then. I mean, that it's... That, that part, if we get out, sure. It, it's like giving up something that's both pleasant and, and business-wise at the same time. And good, friendly customers. What Queen Streeters really fear is that their special place will go the way of trendy, affluent Yorkville, where the hippies and peace signs of the 60s gave way to the stretch limos and dollar signs of the 80s. Yorkville is a developer's dream, but it is no place for artistic risk and adventure. The Queen Street people want to keep their adventure going, to defend their way of life and its festive spirit. This feeling of solidarity is shared by some of Toronto's politicians, like Alderman Dale Martin. He says the city must fight speculators and encourage artists by protecting the cheaper industrial space in the downtown core. The Toronto City Plan uh, is designed, if you like, to, to fight the inevitable. It says that we don't want the city to look like a city that's determined by the market in land. We want industry downtown, uh, something that obviously is not prone to the market, because we're, we're just a few blocks from the most expensive land in Canada. Whether or not we'll be successful is, is something altogether different. I mean, the jury is out on that, if you like. Try to have uh, dark blondes, mirror glass, in the meantime, Queen Street's merchants are meeting with the architects and developers who plan to renovate their community. They plead for time and urge them to preserve the unique character of their neighborhood. Sometimes discussions like this are productive, and they inspire the optimists. But the bottom line is always money. High-priced developments will bring the tough realities of high-priced rents.